Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you another recipe that is healthy, super easy, super quick and this has been requested by a few of my fellow Weight Watchers attendees um, because I recently uploaded a what I eat in a day on 30 smart points on the Weight Watchers plan video on my other channel, my fashion covered baby and a few people have requested for the recipe for this. So I'm happy to oblige. This is a recipe for my butternut squash and sweet potato soup. It's creamy, delicious, really filling and healthy. And best of all, it's only two smart points per large portion. So I do like a large bowl. So I would say that this, that this recipe for me makes four to five bowls, but they are quite good portions. If you wanted to spread this out to eight portions, it would be only one smart point per bowl. This is perfect for lunch, you obviously take it with you to work, but it's really filling and healthy and because it's only two smart points, it doesn't take too much of your daily allowance. I also like giving this to Lena because it's full of lots of vegetables and really, really good for you. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you what you need. So to make your butternut squash soup, first of all, you want to roast your vegetables. The roasting of the vegetables makes them really full of flavour, so I wouldn't skip this part. Um, also, you can stick them in the oven, forget about them for 45 minutes to one hour and the whole house will smell amazing. It'll make your soup smell, taste amazing, but also like you don't even have to touch it or think about it. So, um, I'm really lazy, so I get a butternut squash already um, cut up into little bits from Tesco. But obviously you can buy an actual butternut squash and cut it up yourself. Um, this one's actually a butternut squash and sweet potato mix. Obviously you can just use butternut squash but I also love sweet potato remember sweet potato does have points so I will point that below but if you're using only butternut squash that has no points on the Weight Watchers Smart Points plan so you'll be saving even more so this will be a two point soup um, as opposed to a one point soup if it were butternut squash only I'm also going to add to this some onions and um, I again am lazy so diced onions out of the freezer section um, of the supermarket. I always, always, always have them have these in my freezer because they're so convenient and handy. So I've got my onions. I've also got from the freezer section sliced mixed peppers. Again, of course, you can mix, cut up a fresh pepper, but um, roasted peppers are really delicious. So I'm going to add what's left in my bag of those and I'll need to buy another pack because I use that in almost every recipe. Um, and then what's left of my frozen sliced mushrooms as well. They're going in here. I would always recommend frozen veg because um, it's frozen as soon as it's kind of picked and cut. And if it's already diced here like this, you absolutely have no excuse to make your own foods from scratch because it's so convenient and easy, but you know what's going into it, which is amazing. So just spread out your vegetables on your baking tray and then I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to use some cooking spray rather than um, olive oil just to save on points again. These are only one calorie per spray but I'm actually going to use the Fry Light Infuse version with chilli oil and also the garlic oil one. Um, this is obviously going to add loads of flavour, but obviously instead you can just use normal olive oil or normal cooking spray and a little garlic powder or real garlic roasted is delicious um, and some chilli flakes or a little bit of fresh chilli. So I'm just going to spray around 10 sprays of the Fry Light infused oil. It's about 10 sprays of each, 10 of chilli, 10 of garlic. And then I'm going to give it a good a good dose of this pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, it's really, really healthy for you. Obviously, don't overdo on the salt. Um, but a little bit of salt will just bring out the flavour of the vegetables. And I'm also going to add some pepper. Obviously, you can add any spices of your choice. But I'm going to add some pepper. And then I'm going to give everything a really good mix. And then into the oven it goes.
So that's what this looks like when it is all roasted. It's been roasting about 45 minutes and it's fairly soft. Um, but I'm going to add it to some chicken stock now. So I've got my nice big pot here and I'm going to get my kettle on and I'm going to add some chicken stock cubes to make this into a delicious soup. So I have one litre of chicken stock in here, just made with two chicken stock cubes and a litre of boiling water. And, and I'm going to begin adding my roasted vegetables to this. And I let them simmer in this for around about um, 30 to 40 minutes, just to continue softening and to make sure that all of those beautiful flavours are infused. And then after that, it'll be time to blend everything up into a nice, smooth, deliciously creamy soup. All of my lovely roasted veggies are now in the pot with the stock. And I'm going to let this simmer for around 40 minutes until everything's nice and soft and delicious. So this has been on the stove for around 40 minutes, bubbling away, and I'm just going to use my trusty hand blender to whiz it up. <coughs> So that is my soup all nicely blended and it's looking smooth, creamy and delicious. Time for the taste test. Mm. It's, unbelievably how, it's unbelievable how creamy this tastes. It has a hint of a kick from that Fry Light chilli spray that's coming through, but just a hint. It's really, really tasty. Those roasted vegetables are delicious. And it tastes like there's cream in it, or at least milk, but there is neither. So creamy, delicious, and only two smart points per serving. This is my sweet potato and butternut squash soup at two smart points per serving. Delicious. Thanks for watching this video. If you find it useful, give me a thumbs up below and let me know if you would like to see any other similar recipes in future. And if you're on the Weight Watchers Smart Points plan, let me know what you like to eat in the comments below because I'm always looking for inspiration. See you next one. Bye.